Crews are working at this hour to clean up the aftermath of a shrimp boat fire on the Anclote River. The biggest concern right now is getting the fuel that's been leaking from that ship contained. Our Laura Harris has been live on the scene since very early this morning. Laura, what's the status of the cleanup now? Well, we're told the cleanup is slow and steady. Just about 10 minutes ago, I got an update from Tarpon Springs Fire. They tell me uh, the EPA as well as other agencies are on hand right now trying to control this environmental risk. I want to show you something, though. Right over my right shoulder is the Gulf Coast boat. That boat was moved during the fire yesterday. And then over there to your left, well, that's the Sky Marie, or at least what's left of that boat. We have to remember, while these crews are working to clean up that water and the wreckage, there's still an investigation going on in hopes of figuring out what caused this fire. It's hard seeing your livelihood burn up. Sue Harris watched in horror last night as the wooden shrimp boat she says she and her husband paid $150,000 for seven years ago went up in flames. Daylight revealing what the blaze left behind. The 80-foot shrimp boat completely destroyed. We saw environmental service crews trying to soak up what they could near the dock earlier this morning. The Coast Guard saying they're working closely with the Tarpon Springs Fire Department to execute a plan to get this spill contained and completely cleaned up. Basically, uh, assessing how much uh, pollution got in the water, determining how much burn off during the fuel uh, fire last night, and, uh, and, and determining how, what, what is the next course of action. The Coast Guard tells us determining how much fuel leaked into the water will be a tedious process. The owner of the boat says her husband had just fueled up with 5,000 gallons of diesel. Right now, officials say some light sporadic patches of diesel fuel are around the area of the boat spanning 300 yards long and about 50 to 100 yards wide. And while they say they have lifted the safety zone because the fire is out, they still want boaters to be careful. Of course, we want all mariners in the area to just, uh, exercise caution because there is pollution in the area. And this cleanup is not cheap. Coast Guard officials telling me there's currently an oil pollution fund set up for about $25,000. That's the money they're using right now to try to clean this mess up. As you can see, a uh, crew's up there right now trying to shore up this ship in some way, shape, or form to get it ready to be hauled off by a crane. Now, even though that money is set aside right now, we're told after this investigation is over, depending on what the investigation shows, well, the owners of that boat could be responsible to pay the rest of the tab. For now, we are live in Tarpon Springs. Laura Harris, ABC Action News.